Hey everyone, and welcome back. Did you just replace your brake pads, or are they making an odd grinding sound right out of the box? If this is the current status of your brakes, then your pads need to be bedded in. Now in this video, I will walk you through the process that applies to all Serial One bikes and both situations. Let's check it out. So bedding in your brakes is just a fancy way to say breaking in your new brakes. This is a controlled process of heating and cooling your brakes, and it helps transfer an even layer of brake pad material onto the brake rotor, which assists in smoother brake operation and improved braking power. Throughout these next steps, keep in mind that the goal is to lay down pad material onto the rotor in an even fashion. During this process, you never want to completely lock up the brakes or come to a complete stop while braking. So if your bike is fresh out of the box, make sure to follow these next steps closely to bed in your brakes. Now, if you just replaced your brake pads and are still using your old rotors, you can skip ahead to a slightly different bed in procedure. To begin the bed in process with new pads and new rotors, find a long stretch of concrete or asphalt that is flat or slightly downhill to help you carry momentum. Step one, we're gonna drag the front and the rear brakes for five minutes at a constant pressure. Let's get after it. Over the course of five minutes, the brakes will begin to feel progressively stickier. Remember that the hydraulic disc brakes on Serial One e-bikes are very powerful, so be careful not to over brake and cause either of the wheels to lock up. Additionally, if you have a rush city, your pads will require an extra two to three minutes of heavy pressure in addition to the five minutes the mosh city needs. So step two is gonna be five to seven rolling decelerations from 15 miles per hour down to five miles per hour, only using the front brake, which is the left brake lever. Let's do it. Step three, five to seven rolling decelerations from 15 miles per hour down to five miles per hour, only using the rear brake, which is the right brake lever. Let's do it. So step four, is gonna be three to five rolling decelerations from 20 miles per hour down to five miles per hour using both brake levers at the same time. Let's do it. Two, three, four. And that's it. That concludes the bedding in process for new pads and new rotors. Just make sure you take a nice long ride after you finish the bedding in process to really make sure you have that maximum braking power. All right, get to it. Now on to the slightly different and faster bed in procedure for new pads on used rotors. To begin the bed in process with new pads and used rotors, find a long stretch of concrete or asphalt that is flat or slightly downhill to help you carry momentum. Step one. Three to five decelerations from 15 miles per hour down to five miles per hour, only using the front brake, which is the left hand lever. Let's do it. Step two. Three to five decelerations from 15 miles per hour down to five miles per hour, only using the rear brake, which is your right hand lever. Let's do it. Step three is one to two decelerations from 20 miles per hour down to five miles per hour with both brake levers engaging. Let's do it. So the braking process is complete, but you wanna make sure you go on a really long ride after you do this process, just to make sure, you know, work the kinks out and really work the brakes. 
It is important to note that these high quality TRP brakes fit to all Serial 1 e-bikes, use a harder steel compound, which is why the bed-in process is longer than most. If your brakes are still making noise after the bed-in process is complete, give them some extra time and a few long rides with lots of braking to ensure the brakes are thoroughly bed-in. So that's all there is to it. Your bed-in process is completely done and now your bike has that maximum stopping power it needs. So, if you have any more questions, hop over to Serial1.com, the support page. Otherwise, have fun out there, and I'll see you all next time.